go to the shrine. I need to. I need to do things. What is this? Is this nope? This doesn't have anything for me. I need. Oh wait, freaking! I forget. Those three being in the room makes it easy. You would too if you knew everything there is to know. Plugging about. in that power cell oh. downstairs must have turned on these. Oh holograms. yeah. Oh. Whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind when she's fixed. Well, I guess I just better stay on her good side. Then. Talking about Gaia, I think. Um, that's right. Somebody did say in the comments I should wander around the facility here. That there are secrets here. Thank you for that person, individual. Thank you. I need to do that. I'm trying to talk. Got a minute? As many as you need. I love him. <laughs> I have to travel beyond the western coast. Oh my gosh. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but... I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Where are your there eyes? Is something I've been meaning to discuss. With oh you. my gosh. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. I really got boat boatloads. Boatloads, my guy. Um, okay. Bleh. Yeah, we'll do this first. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh <gasps> to make themselves stronger. Oh. I was wondering if you'd help me do the a same. A prosthetic? You want to make yourself a new one? Oh, that's sick! Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary oh. data and materials. My gosh, 3D printing! She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zenith. Let's go, Catalo! Their ancient research. Let's go! Lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. Anything for you, my guy. It may be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I really love, I just realized that his, uh, I don't know what you call it, like his wraparound skirt thing, um, looks very much like feathers. I really, really like it. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the ten fought against machines, much as we do now. But it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of yes. greedy leaders. Yes. As they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. It's interesting. It's very interesting seeing the Tanakh may be willing to change, at least in some ways. Um, and I think it's good to maintain, you know, some sort of martial aptitude. Because stuff happens, you know, you don't break it. Like, look at this, we have people from the sky <laughs> coming down and shooting us with weird lasers and weird machines. Like, yeah, having, having a martial aptitude in some way is super great. But like, so I'm not like a total pacifist, and I, th I don't think Aloy is either. I think she's just, like she says, it's good to be able to put your life on the line and, you know, throw yourself into the fray, but less conflict is indeed better. <laughs> what do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at oh. it, although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like it training. does. I don't think they're much for um total relaxation. No spa days for the Tanakh. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. 
I would call you in a heartbeat. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. So we'll get what you need for that new armor. That is dope. Thank you, Aloy. I definitely want him to come for that. For for their personal quests that we are apparently going to have. Oh, I don't have any health items. I need to stock up on things, and then I need to go talk to Beta, and then I need to run around and look. Is this my room? No, it's not. Where's my room? My room has plants in it because Zoe is great, even though she's been thrust into the role of uh, impromptu mom. Okay, somebody was like, I can't believe you're not poking this stuff when you go into the room, but I swear I've looked at most everything. <sighs> Beta's so frustrating. Oh! I don't get how she can be so negative all the time. I mean, we're clones of the same woman, and yet... She couldn't be more different from Elizabeth. Okay, my bad. Apparently new things pop up. I don't know, the first couple times I poked stuff, uh, they, she said the same thing, so I just figured it would be the same thing over and over again. Uh, but apparently not. I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just... I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. Okay, so now I feel really bad. Now I feel really, really dumb. Because we're getting more of, like, Aloy's thoughts in here, which is nice. You don't get it so much when she's talking to people. When I met Hikaru, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. But Vishav was right. Hikaru wants peace. It won't be easy. But with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. Oh my gosh, I'm a moron. Oh, man. I swear the first two times I poked them, they just did said the same things. Thank you again, individual. I have had a lot of help with this series in the comments. So I appreciate you guys, and I'm sorry I didn't do that. I hate missing dialogue. Ugh. <sighs> Alas. Alright, I filled up my health stuff. Um, I have... Do I have one in here? A workbench. I don't have a workbench in here. My workbench is over there. So, we're fighting immortals from the stars. Yeah, that's pretty epic. Looks like it. What's next? Wizards from the Oh, moon? please. How does he know what wizards are? By the way. Mm. Don't care about that. I don't think I have the stuff for it anyway. The machines thing where you need to have like extra bits and pieces or whatever. I need ammo. I need these. God dang, look at that. That's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, upgraded. Uh, refilled, upgraded, and then refilled again, and now I am going I could use a drink. downstairs. Is this... Can I go down? Um, I think I can go down this way. <laughs> we gotta talk to Beta, and then we gotta... Try to find wherever that stupid little battery's gotta go. That's you. Yeah, it is. Hey, me again. Was there something else? So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are modest without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but they should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. I, I need to see more interaction between these two. Like, that's enough for now. Good. She is really frustrating. I'm glad freaking Aloy said it, because I've been saying it this whole time. Wait, no, okay, hang on. There was a room in here where we could wander. I don't think there were any other doors. Oh, there she is. Is that? Oh, looks like I can open that oh, door. Oh, no, this one. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. What was this room for, Gaia? 
This was intended as a diagnostic center to monitor machine activity in the repair bay below. Battery. It appears most of the equipment was damaged. Battery. Likely from Minerva's control of this facility. Yeah, she did try really hard to keep me out. She was scared. Looks like a power cell could fit It here. does. It does indeed. Let's look at this. The vault. I found a locked door behind the vent in the basement. I wonder if that's uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh... I've got to be more careful. Jensen almost caught onto my plan while we were going over the diagnostic center specs. I've got nothing against the rest of the team. It, it's just... I'm sure they've all got family they're gonna meet up with in Elysium. But me? I couldn't even bury August. There is nothing of him left besides my memories. I won't let those blink out of existence too. The vault's for us, no one else. Eleven more weeks before we lock the blueprints. Then the rest will be up to Gaia. Is he gonna do something bad or good? And I can't remember who Ethan, if Ethan Reed was somebody like a, an alpha or whatever. Um, I can't believe they used those words. <laughs> um, I'm surprised they didn't give. Um, I'm surprised that bringing what you call it, Ted Frow didn't give himself like Sigma clearance or, or whatever. Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I bet I guess the people assigning the clearance would have given it to Ted Farrow and they would have given him <laughs> Omega clearance because that's what he deserves. Um, how do I crouch? Okay, where was the battery? Can I open this? No. Oh. Okay, so that wasn't that doesn't go anywhere. That's just a goodies thing. Um, this was the vault, a locked vault over here. This is not where the battery is. Uh, ah! There's a there's a breach in the facility. Well, let's hop in here. Take a gander. Enter code. I do not have the code. Whatever it is yet. Okay, that's good to know though. It requires a code. I will keep an eye out for that. But I do have a battery somewhere that I could put in that room. I think it was actually just in the room across the hall. I don't need to go. Uh oh. Where did what? This is where I came in? I don't think so. I was like, oh my gosh, did my game crash? Did I just to rain. Did I just go outside? It's about time. Oh my gosh, we have an actual breach in the facility. Ooh, I want that. Give it to me. Um, okay. Uh, okay. All right. This is how I get outside. Let me have it. Come here. Come here. Thank. And now I'm just concerned. Somebody could just waltz in. Did I do this before? Have I done this? I do not remember if I have. I apologize if I have. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. I can't, like, I have these, these rocks all look the same to me. Okay, I'm going back in. I don't know. I feel like I may have done this before. Battery. Well, no way. Oh no. Was it? Where was I? Oh no, I don't know if I could take it. I can't take it in there. That's not where I want to go, though. Right? Does she have a? Is there like a, something like a read? Oh my gosh, Beta. There's stuff to read in here. 
Al Eloy and Guy. Oh, oh my gosh, I am reading her journal. I feel bad. Eloy and Guy want me to figure out how to capture Hephaestus. I put chances of success at above the nail point zip, but I might as well give it a chance, give it a think, because without Hef's ability to make machines, and he and Zenas will have at, this, at their mercy. And what else am I going to do? As always, the first step is to outline the problem. Like the other subordinate functions, Hephaestus achieved quasi sentience when Gaia received the signal from Sirius, and when Gaia blew herself up to stop Hades, Hephaestus fled, looking for a new home. But unlike the other subfunctions, which seemed to have taken refuge in whatever physical processors they could find, Hephaestus hid in the global spanning network that connects all the cauldrons in the world. Maybe because no single processor was large enough to contain it, or because it sought out the code the code environment is most familiar with. Regardless, becoming a ghost in the network enabled it to pursue its twisted new mission, infiltrate cultural protection facilities, production facilities, build combat units, and deploy them against humans, all in an effort to protect terraforming machines from tribal hunters. Escalations ensue as hunters become adept at neutralizing its killing machines. Hephaestus makes more, bigger, better, armed, deadlier. But this is a digression for our purposes. The main point is that Hephaestus is in one place, so Eli can't simply take it and use the master override to contain it in the Gaia kernel like Aether, Demeter, or Poseidon. It can flee to any cauldron at any time. Ergo, we got trapped somehow probably in a cauldron core please no please no <laughs> and cut off its access to the network but how as of this writing i have literally no clue to make matters worse the data guy have provided seems to indicate the fss is changing the exact methodology isn't clear to me but the code base has expanded that's bad news for one thing it could mean that its heuristic density is increasing which would make it harder for guy to absorb but even worse it implies that fss has the ability to write it rewrite itself or at least parts of itself which is terrifying what if it rewrote its access protocols that would mean i don't even want to think about it that's fair actually Having Hephaestus be able to also putting a quasi sentient machine or uh, entity into Gaia is something that I don't like the sound of. What and it has the ability to rewrite itself? What it can, it can hey, hurt Gaia? The console has power now. Okay, what did that do? What did that do for me? Nobody said anything. This is something concerning the vault, but I don't have a password still. And, um, I don't know. Yep. I don't know what that did. Tiki. Maybe it will eventually help me get the vault door open, but uh, not right now. Where am I going? Was there. Wait, wait, wait. Let's check. This room. Is this just the elevator? I think. Yeah, okay. I don't know where else to explore. Is it me or did the old ones just look funny? Yeah. Funny how? Yeah, they're close. They're <laughs> they're so tight. For once I'd have to agree. I'd rip those things to shreds in a fight. Guess they didn't move around as much. It's true. We didn't. We don't. <laughs> we are not. I mean, I guess, like, I have my thing. Everything tastes like chicken. But I move around a lot. Not right now. But uh, for work, I move around a lot. But then I definitely go through phases where I don't do anything. <laughs> and I just play video games. Anyway, I guess we aren't doing those quests today. That was 45 minutes of chit-chatting and me of monologuing and also trying to figure out what's going on with the facility. I don't think, I was, I was wandering around in circles because I was pretty sure I have all the doors unlocked by now. Did this open up? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Oh, is this my, no, that's their room, okay. Um, I don't, I guess it would be nice if I could open up a new place, a new room that would have access to like a code of some sort. This is the training room. I don't know. This doesn't seem to have any... Oh? According to this console, 
There are still thousands of plant oh. samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Oh, maybe I already did that? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and call it here. Um, even though apparently we could go talk to Gaia about new things. I feel like this episode's gone on for a long time. Hopefully not too long. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tear patron, and my other sapling tear patron, Adam. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Blah, blah, blah. Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And all your support, super wonderful. Thank you. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.